Starting with breaking news tonight, three teenagers will face charges connected to drug lace candy at MGM High School. Now, one student was rushed to the hospital after eating some of that candy. And tonight, we're finding out the youngest suspect, a 15-year-old girl, also accused of stealing people's credit card numbers while she worked at a fast food restaurant. Investigators say some of those credit card numbers were used to buy the drug lace candy online. Ariel Mallory has this breaking information. Ariel, the young lady who went to the hospital, is she okay? Yeah, Lanisa and Byron, the girl's mother tells me that she is out of the hospital and recovering at home. Now, meanwhile, I'm told in addition to drug charges, the 15-year-old suspect will face 19 counts for stealing identities after she took pictures of victims' credit cards. Tonight, we're hearing new details into what sent an MGM student to the hospital this week. The mother sending us this photo today, her daughter's face blurred out when she was rushed to the ER after a possible drug overdose. Both Sims Police and the Mobile County Sheriff's Office went out to Mary G. Montgomery on Monday. Investigators say multiple students got sick from eating drug-laced candies bought online. Tonight, the Sheriff's Office telling Fox 10 News those drugs were bought with stolen credit cards. According to detectives, a 15-year-old student took pictures of 19 customers' credit cards while working at a local restaurant. She'll be charged with fraudulent use of a credit card and trafficking and stolen identities, which are both felonies. Detectives say she didn't do it alone. Her 17-year-old co-worker helped her take the pictures. Investigators go on to say the pair used the stolen credit card information to purchase THC lace candy online and sold it throughout the school. Sims Police Chief Todd Fran says an 18-year-old is also involved. All three will be charged with distribution of a synthetic drug and possession of a control substance. And the sheriff's office tells me it's likely that these three warrants will be served before the week is over. Live right now in front of Mobile Sheriff's Office, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.